Hey guys, it's Shan, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. But before we go ahead and get started, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notification by hitting that little bell icon. But other than that, let's get started. So jumping straight into the review, the SNES is a new console that lets you run your old favorite games smoothly and without having to run any emulators on your computer. It also comes with 20 games that are already preloaded and the main featured game of the SNES is Star Fox 2, what is the first ever official release from Nintendo. The SNES and the controller are a lot smaller than the actual original one that came out in the 1980s. So once you guys got the box opened, the, the first thing you get is the quick start guide and some manuals to go along with it. You also get a micro USB power cable to actually power the console. And towards the right side of the box, you get a controller, the Super Nintendo Classic Edition controllers. You get two of them, as you can see, with a long wire, what should be enough to go very far onto your couch. You also get a power brick, what is able to plug into the device itself with the micro USB. You also get an HDMI cable, what I really would recommend you get a new one as that's really small. And finally, you guys get the Super Nintendo Classic Edition itself. And as you guys can see, it is really small compared to the original one, if you guys ever seen the original one but it's also really nice. So towards the top of the console, there is the Nintendo logo. It also has the power switch and the reset button towards the top with the logo there again, and the eject button, what used to be on the older one. On the back, you guys get the HDMI out plug and the power in, uh, micro USB power in cable with the HDMI certification over there. And Towards the front, you get the design of the old connections that were to plug in the controllers with a red LED power light. Now, here is the controller. The controller is the same as before, just a lot smaller, as you guys can see. And it's nice. It plugs in. The flaps come out, and that's how you plug it in. Um, the power button does, as you guys can see, illuminate that red LED when you switch it on and off. And the eject button is also there the reset button as I would say what is technically the eject button and that lets you use uh, to exit the game that you are currently in what I do find is a big disadvantage as if you're on the couch you then have to get up and then go and physically push the reset button what then again is a huge disadvantage it should have just been on the controller but that's how it is so when you turn on the device itself, you guys will see the list of games and the suspend point with the settings on top. Opening up a game, as you guys can see, it looks great. It's at 720p. Um, it should be at 4K or at least 1080p. But then again, these games were not designed to be at such high resolutions. 720p is very good for these games, to be completely honest. Um, but you guys will be playing it on their pixel perfect mode. Uh, what is different from their actual full screen mode at the menu so that's a bit different as you guys can see you'll be able to play and it's really really fun to actually play with it it's a different experience than if you guys haven't ever played it but it is really good if you guys have played it these are the games you want to play and i have never played these games before i have only played it a couple times on the actual one and it's just really as you guys can see i did not know how to play right away it was weird to get used to the controls but it's actually really really fun and it's just really great of a console as you guys can see uh you guys do get the black bars towards the side but that's perfectly fine um over here you guys will see me going and opening up another game over here and as you guys can see i will play through it and you don't even need to save the game you guys can save it but over here, I'm going to be playing through all the levels, like not all, but just a couple levels over here. And I won't even be saving the game itself. I will just be actually, you guys will see it over here. I will be using the suspend point to actually save the game technically because you 
will be put exactly where you left off then before you see i say continue without saving and over here you guys will see i will exit out of the game and now show you guys the suspend point reopen it exact same point what is really good better than saving the game because you leave off at the exact same part and same with super mario kart over here as you guys can see i'm gonna run a couple laps and it's just the suspend points really help it's a great feature and yeah so would i recommend the super nintendo classic edition to everyone yes i would because whoever wants to play these types of games will obviously love it if you played it when you were younger you will just love the game that you were here if you love star fox the original you get star fox 2 what was actually never released was actually a really cool game if you guys do get to play it i still haven't played it but i know it is a really good game on here and the only thing that i would say is the snes is really hard to get one now as they get sold out really quickly and when they do come in stock you have to grab them really quick or if you usually want to buy them they're going to be at a really high price that's the only disadvantage of the snes consoles they're really hard to get but they're worth it if you guys do like it it's just a really really good console that i would recommend to anybody out there that really loves playing games in general Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and click on the bell notification icon to turn on post notification. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in my next video.